Hi, we will go underwater in VCV rack to see what the digital operators by submarine have to offer. They perform logical operations with binary inputs. Put in virtual volts, the default range is from 0 to 10 volts. If the input is 0 volts, it's taken as the logical 0 or false. If it's 10 volts, its value is the logical 1 or true. There's a series of digital operators in different sizes, from 5 slots per module to 20 per module, if you really like to scroll. So there are 4 inputs above, and 4 outputs below. In between, it has its own internal routing. The inputs are color-coded, along with two more options, a black pad that always presents a logical false, and a white pad that presents a logical truth. N, C means not connected. So the simplest thing we can do is to feed a clock in the first input and invert it. For every slot, we can choose between 18 logic gates. Clicking in the pads on the left and dragging up or down, we choose between the possible connections. The operator can also be selected by dragging with the mouse. We can see in the diagram that the NOT gate only takes one input. In the pads below, we can do the same to choose the output. In the scope, the first signal shows the clock, and the second signal is the opposite of the first. At the end of this episode, we will cover how each of these logic gates works. But now we'll see how to do a sequential switcher through four outputs, starting from a single clock input. The first logic gate we use is the D-type flip-flop. Every time the clock rises, the output changes to its opposite value. Now the output is at half the clock frequency. We apply the D-type flip-flop again, so the new output is a quarter of the clock frequency. These two outputs go to an AND gate. Only when both are true, the output of the AND gate is true. It lasts a quarter of the whole length of four beats, this will be the first step of the sequence. To get the other three, we can use a clock delay. Every time the clock rises, a new value of the second input is registered, and it outputs the last registered value. We can obtain the rest of the steps with more clock delays. The beats from the single clock input go through four outputs sequentially. Let's use it for an arpeggiator. Here we have a polyphonic signal with the notes of a chord on every channel. The outputs of the digital operator activate an envelope generator one note at a time. Digital operators are polyphonic, so we can have more sequential switches but at different clock rates. The logic gates are chained, which means that if you change the first one, it will change the whole pattern. The four inputs are filled with clocks at different gates. We operate them to see if we can get some rhythm. Warning! These operators are to compute gates, and by any meaning, you have to put signals at audio rate. It can damage your sense of good taste. So, let's do it. Gates usually work between 0 and 10 volts. In VCV rack, audio signals must be between minus 5 and plus 5 volts. We must change the range in the right-click menu. Here we have two different VCOs that goes into the digital operator. Then we pass them through several logic gates. Also added a VCF and a delay to make it more fun. If you click with the right button over the symbol, you can see the truth table. Not gate. When the input is true, the output Q is false and vice versa. The next operator is the AND gate. It outputs true if both signals are true. The two next work the same way but with three or four inputs. Then we get the OR gates. So the output Q is true if any of the inputs is true. 
The XOR gate outputs true, if an odd number of inputs are true. You know, 1 or 3. If an even number of outputs are true, none, 2, or all 4, the Q output is false. The N and gate is true if any of the inputs are false. It comes in 3 and 4 inputs flavors. The N or gate outputs true when all outputs are false. The XN or gate. It has 4 inputs, the output Q is true when an even number of inputs are true. If it's not, is false. The D-type flip-flop. The output Q changes from 0 to 1, or from 1 to 0, whenever the input C rises. SR flip-flop. The first input is S, set. And the second input is R, reset. If S is true, the output Q is true. If S is false and R is true, the output Q is false. If both S and R are false, then Q will remain unchanged. D-type latch. It has two inputs D, data, and E, enable. The output Q will be equal to the input D while E is 1 true. When E is false, Q will remain unchanged. SR latch. It has three inputs. S, set, R, reset, and an edge triggered input E, enable. The output Q will remain unchanged while E is false. When E rises the output Q may be changed. If S is true when E rises, then Q will be true. If S is false and R is true when E rises, then Q will be false. The latch has two inputs. D, data, and E, enable. When E is false the output Q will remain unchanged. When E is true the output Q will be the same as input D. Delay. The output Q will be the same as the input D, data, but delayed one sample. CLK delay. It has two inputs. C, clock, and D, data. It also has an internal register A, when the input C rises from 0 to 1, the output Q, takes on the value of register A, and at the same time the register A takes on the value of input D, output Q will remain unchanged, until the next time that C rises. Odiody oddity that's all rackers. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.